Markers can easily turn into a lamp. The girls brought their dolls to class again. And one Barbie spills her water. No big deal. I'll clean it later. Oops! What a fall! The teacher wiped out. Here's a bucket and a mop. Tell Barbie to clean the floor. Cut the tip off a glue bottle dispenser. Put in an empty pen refill and hot glue it. Color it with acrylic paint. Wrap yarn around two fingers. Tie a knot around one side and cut it on the other side. Hot glue the yarn into the ready mop handle. Take the plastic cap ring off a paint pot. Cut it in half. Fasten the handle to an empty clay pot using sewing pins. Cut off the extra pieces of the pins with pliers. Cover the sharp ends with hot glue. Put the mop into the bucket. Megan feels sorry for her doll, so she cleans the floor herself. Thank goodness there isn't a lot of water. This doll mop is perfect for this amount of work. Yay! Recess! We can do a lot of damage in these five minutes. Orbeez fight! Ready, aim, fire! Uh-oh! It looks like I broke the globe. The world broke in half. And what should we do now? We can't just throw away a whole hemisphere. Meg has an idea. Let's turn it into a worldwide hot tub for Barbie. Take the broken globe off the stand. Color it with silver acrylic paint. Hot glue a bead to the hole. Make it look like a drain stopper. Turn the piece over. Attach four stones. These are the legs of the tub. Attach a cardboard ring around the edge. Cover it with acrylic polish and apply gold foil. Smooth it out with a brush and remove the excess. Heat up a straw and bend it at an angle. Cut off the excess and attach it to the edge as a tap. Glue on beads to the sides. Color the tap with silver acrylic paint. Make a hole under the tap with the tip of a hot glue gun. Stick in a straw. Pour soap solution into the tub. Blow into the straw, making soap bubbles in the hot tub. Barbie feels great in the hot tub. Let's add some bubbles. That looks so relaxing. Let's leave the Barbie spa on the teacher's desk. And here he comes. What's that on my desk? Is our new student taking a bath? Girls, do you have something to do with this? Megan left all the markers open again, and they all dried out. I'll have to find a way to reuse all these deceased school supplies. I have a bright idea. I'll make a Barbie lamp. Cut the excess off a Play-Doh pot lid. Make a hole in the center with the tip of a hot glue gun. Glue a pen into it. Turn over an LED tea light and hot glue it to the other end of the pen. Attach old marker caps around the tea light. My bright little lamp is very cute! Barbie will definitely like this decoration! The teacher keeps seeing dolls everywhere! This gives him a brilliant idea! He wanted to become a shop teacher when he was a kid! And now he can finally use his talents! He'll be working with school supplies and tools! What's he making? Cut an empty glue bottle in half. Hot 
glue a piece of foam rubber to the outside and wrap it in pink satin fabric. Cover the back with a piece of foam paper. Hot glue two pieces together at an angle. Cut a bendy pencil and attach the handles to the swing. Make a steady frame out of wooden pencils. Coat it with acrylic paint. Hang the swing on it using two satin ribbons. Wow! What a cute swing! Let's try it! Perfect! Yay! Our dolls will have so much fun! All the girls love to chat. It's so much fun to share the latest news and gossip with each other. Oops! What's that noise? Our Barbies need a separate couch! Make a couch cover template from jersey knitted fabric so it fits an old pencil case. Hot glue two layers. Leave one edge open. Turn it right side out and fill half of it with stuffing. Glue it in the middle and stuff the other half of the case. Glue the hole. Sew through the mattress. Make it look like the pattern on a real couch. Hot glue the mattress into the pencil case. Wrap an empty glue stick tube in faux leather. Attach an old magnet to one side. Coat it with acrylic polish and apply gold foil. Smooth the foil out with a brush. Remove the excess. Attach two armrests to the couch. Coat empty gouache pots with gold acrylic paint. Color the outside of the pencil case pink. Attach the golden legs to the couch. Settle in, girls! Now that's way better! This couch is so soft and comfy! You're welcome! Christy is throwing away her old things. Bye, palette. But Meg will bring it back to life. Trace an old paint palette on pattern paper. Cut out a circle. Hot glue it to the palette. Cut tips off of old markers with a heated knife. Hot glue four markers to the back of the palette. Make table legs. Color it with acrylic paint. Turn the table over. Decorate the edge with a satin ribbon. Look, Christy! Now our dolls have their own table! Great job, Meg! You'd make a good carpenter! The dolls are very comfortable! Let's throw a tea party for our Barbies! Our dolls have a beauty salon on the desk! Of course! Since these Barbies can sit all day long staring into this mirror! Take an old ruler and cut it to fit a protractor. Hot glue them together at a 90 degree angle. Paint the piece pink. Apply acrylic polish. Sprinkle the protractor with glitter. Cut a piece out of mirrored cardboard so it fits the size of the protractor. Fasten a piece of double-sided tape to the back. Attach half beads to the mirror frame. These will be light bulbs. The teacher is angry! You and your dolls again! Take 
everything off your desk. But this mirror is okay. This is a protractor. It's a geometry accessory. Even the teacher likes our mirror device. Did you like our Barbie furniture? Then comment below how you will turn your old school supplies into a gift for your dolls. Will you turn a globe into a hot tub? A case into a couch? Or a protractor into a mirror? And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so that you don't miss new Barbie ideas from Troom Troom.